Hello to everyone who may or may not be here. Welcome back to the stream where we play nonviolent games. Games that reward the player for intellectual and or emotional engagement rather than for combat or participating in other kind of violent gameplay loops. We are back with Lucy Dreaming. Let's go without further ado. So, where were we? Ah, yes. We were trying to make some tea. He's wearing nothing but a sack and a piece of string. Oh, right. This is how you make the tea. This card has a beige colored square on it. It's milk. A whole packet of chocolate biscuits. Earl beige tea. Little white sugar dice. It's empty. The handle says stainless, but the stains on it say otherwise. <laughs> okay, so... I'll stick a bag in. I'll turn it on. Looks like it's boiled. I'll add a bit of hot water. We have... I'll pop a cube in. save them. Oh, uh... A splash of milk. I'll turn it on. Looks like it's but I'll add a bit of hot water. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, duh. Okay, I know what I know this what these are. Gray spiral on it. I know what these are. Um Okay, let's empty this out. I think I know what to do now. I think I know what to do now. Um I'll stick a bag in. I'll turn it on. Looks like it's I need some... I'll add a bit of hot water. And then, um, the sugar. I'll pop a cube in. And then... Let's give it a stir. A splash of milk. Let's give it a stir. I hope I did that right. It's got the makings of a brew in it. I'll give him his mug. I'll leave him a biscuit to munch on. I'd better move out of the way. I made him. He's obviously a bit particular about how it's made. Huh. I really Maybe thought I'll I did that right. I really thought I did that right. Um. Because it seems like, right, the bag of tea, hot water, sugar, uh, stir it, milk and stir it again right like that looks like it i'll turn it on looks like... 
I'll stick it back. Boil master. Stays hot for up to six seconds. It's full, but stone cold. Yeah, I think that's probably the issue, is I wasn't able to... I'll turn it on. Looks like it's boiled. I'll stick a bag in. I'll add a bit of hot water. I'll pop a cube in. I think something went wrong while I was making this tea. I should probably get rid of it and start again. Hmm. Okay, let's empty this out. I'll stick a bag in. I'll turn it on. Looks like it's boiled. I'll add a bit of hot water. I'll pop it. Let's give it a stir. No, see, because I okay. think the... I think we probably need it to still be hot. I'll stick a bag in. I'll turn it on. Looks like... I'll add a bit of hot... I'll pop a cube in. I'll pop a cube in. Oh, no! Shoot! I didn't use the teaspoon. Okay, let's empty this out. I'll stick a bag in. I'll turn it on. <sighs> Looks like... I'll add a bit of hot... I'll pop a... I'll pop a... Let's give it a stir. A splash... The handle says stainless... Let's give it a stir. I think I've done all I should to this cup of tea. Okay. So I know what the problem was. The problem was it was two cubes of sugar. I'll give him his mug. That was the problem. I'll leave him a biscuit to munch on. I'd better move out of the way. He's enjoying his brew and biscuits. It's got a series of notes written on it. A, G, E, C, D. This must be the order he's playing them in. Uh, hold on, let's look at it again. It's got a series of notes written on it. A, G, E, C, D. This must be the order he's playing them in. There we go. Very old. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, Okay, so, and we've got the, uh, we've got the three things from the, uh, guy in the, um, in the bar, so let's try this. Uh. It has a letter D carved into it. I wish I knew some different tunes.
D E Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So it's so And then C uh wait this is um yeah um hold on let's see so, uh, G uh, so C is uh four four yeah And then, hold on. So that that's F. Uh, so we need uh, E's got to go here. So it's D. D. Oh, whoops. It's D E. G. C. A. Okay. Let's see. After cleaning, please put C. After cleaning, please put pipes back in the correct order. C D E F G A B. Okay. Let's see what happens. He's really feeling that combination of notes. So the problem is we need seven notes. It has a letter. I don't think he's really. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is we need seven notes, and we don't have anything with seven notes. We have things with five. That's that's what we have. <clears throat> After cleaning, C D E F G A B. B. Hmm. <clears throat> it has a letter A. So here's my thought. After cleaning, please put pipes back in the correct order. C D E F G A B. D E G C. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Um, no, no, none of that is going to work with what we have. I don't think he's really feeling that com. Pajamas. <sighs> okay. Oh, whoops. No, wrong one. Sorry. Um.
E D A G C Yes, yeah, that's only five. Lively. Gronk. Uh, interactive. Ele Press any pedal. G. This music makes me feel. A. E. D. C. G. Again, just five. This music makes me feel a bit shaky. D E G A C V A D E. Yeah, again, just five. So. Grunt. Interact. Press any pedal. So, but there's seven. I would say, anyway, I could just take a few off. <laughs> so that I do only have five, and there is no. Six or seven to play. <laughs> I'll just skip up the job. enough without him seeing me. Let's see. Uh, it has a letter A carved into it. Uh, After cleaning, please see. I don't want to leave here carrying this pipe. I guess I could just, you know. It has a letter. Uh. Wait a second. After cleaning, please put pipes back in the correct order. C D E F. G A B. It has a letter. After cleaning, please put pipes back in the correct order. C D E F G A B. It has a letter. C D. C D E F G A B. After cleaning, C D E F G A B. Okay, there we go. This is what he was playing when I first came in. Oh yeah, so that's not helpful, really. Is it? That's not really helpful. I'd rather not drink me. So I'm gonna need two more notes than that. I can't just use five notes. It's kind of annoying. Not while I'm in the. Look, 
looks like they've... I'm not old enough for that. Oh, I'll leave him to his... Let's look at our diary. Find security tape inside a ferret head. Looks like he couldn't get rid of it after all. Derek O'Rean lived here 1985 to 1885. That doesn't seem right. Ah, retro con. Fun times. Five... 568 milliliters of joy. No thanks. It's closed. The parking car. She's watching. She's busy stamping. Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. I don't need to. in there worth having. Looks like they were expecting... I don't have time. It's a cheap... Pew, pew, pew! Bye. Bye-bye. So this is all I got, though. This is all I got. Cool music. I'm glad someone likes it. Too bad you're not a paying customer. Bye. Bye then. Better not. He's in the zone. I don't want to. It looks well used. They show the notes he's playing. They're flashing in the order D E G C A. Soporific. Gronk. I. Interactive. Press any pedal. This view. They show the notes he's playing. They're flashing in the order E D A G C. So, looks like I could have at least just looked at it instead of having to figure it out myself, but. It's still not helpful. This music. They show the notes he's playing. They're flashing in the order E. This music. They show the notes he's playing. They're flashing in the order G A E D C. How does that help me? 
if I need seven notes. Green boat for sale. Seats too comfortably. Have you seen our owl? Call Lear's Raptor Sanctuary. Wanted plush toys for experimentation. Call Lloyd. Figgington Taxis. Get out of your dreams and into our cars. <laughs> Benny Thrill, world's leading Benny Hill impersonator, runs rings around the rest. Want the latest parish council news? Visit figgington.co.uk. Missing cat, last seen by the docks. Hmm. Just dip up a jump. It looks petrified. Do you know any good tunes I could play on the organ? I just fancy going to the pub. I suppose that could help. So, I I'm right about all this, I just... It has a letter. I just need to figure out how to... G E D A G C I don't think he's real E D O oh. It has a letter F. E D A G C. It has a letter E. G A E D C I don't think I don't think he 
It has a letter B. This is literally what was on his, uh... It has a light. I don't think he's real. It's my attempt to... This... He's polished off his... I'll leave him a biscuit to munch on. I'd... written on it. A, G, E, C, D. This must be the order he's playing them in. G, C, D. This is the order he's playing them in. Oh! He's got a series of notes written on it. A, G, this must This is the order he's playing them in. I think I get it. I think I get it. Uh After cleaning, please put pipes back in the correct order. C D E F G A B It has a letter After cleaning, C D E F G A B It has a letter Cleaning C D E F G. It has a left. And then he plays it in order of A G E C D A G E C D. So what I need to do is put the one I want him to use in the order of the notes he's playing them. So So in so let's see. So So he plays A first, then we can go with D. If he plays G second, Then he plays E third. So we're going to put G where E is. And he plays C. And we're actually going to keep C in the right, in the same place. And then he plays D last. So we're going to want to put A where D is. This is what he was playing when I first came in. Wait, what?
the hell? Try this again. E where A is. Um, put A. I'm trying a, a different one, by the way, right now. So put A where. E is? Wait, no. That doesn't make any sense. It just... Okay. Okay. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's put uh D Wait. No. Ah, it's not helpful. D where A is, but then at the end you'd switch them back because the last one is A. It's not. You just switch them back. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Let's see, um... You put... E where A is. You put... A where C is no where E is wait what what is going on okay hold on I'd rather not drink behind oh yeah sorry um Okay, you put you put Just trying to parse this out on my phone, uh, trying to write things down and, and match them up. A, 
G E C D Yeah, I mean, I, I, it doesn't make sense because for, for all three of these, if you put them, What am I missing? Oh, of course, you put them where they were, not where they are. Okay, give me a second. Maybe I got this, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Taking a screenshot of this, and then I can use the screenshot to know where things were. So if we, if we put a where D is And then oh okay am I being dumb Tune seems to make the bats all shaky. It looks like they're shaking. I think this music's making them nervous. Okay. Oh, I am. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I think I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's, um. Wait, uh, okay, so let's, um, so. We're gonna go back to the original. Uh, which is C D 
E, F, G, A, B. Okay, now let's try with lively. So you switch G and A. Uh, e stays the same, and you switch D and C. This tune really woke those bats up. They seem to be really enjoying this tune. A big brass horn. It's only held up there by a single nail. It looks like the slightest little shake could bring it crashing down. Judging by the large heap of droppings underneath it, the local bats have been using it as a roost. All in all, I'd say that standing direct... I wonder if I could encourage the bats to knock it down. That doesn't need any sugar. That doesn't need any... Okay, let's try Sleepy now. Switch A and D from where they so yeah, so let's see. Um Okay, so yeah, I'm trying to work off the screenshot because I um so Okay, so wait, so okay, so so A and E get switched, and E is it was on the third, okay. Um, uh, and then D is where G is. No, C is where D is? That doesn't seem right. Looks like this tune has made the bats all sleepy. Oh! Okay, so first of all, I did do it correctly. And then I want to make them shaky. Okay. So it's if they're roosting in the in the horn and she says that it'll fall down with a little shake. So they're asleep in the horn now, and then if I make them shake Okay. Okay. So let's put D where A was. Um, There's no pot. Okay, D is where A was. Uh. E is going to be where G is on the original. Um, let's 
Wait, hold on. Okay, so we got, so. Okay, so C is going to be. You know, I should have taken a screenshot once I got each of the ones successful, but here we are, anyways. Okay, so C is going to be in the same place as the original. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's just put it back in the original position. It's getting too confusing to do it. Uh, Um, okay, so, uh, C, G, wait, no, yes, okay, so C, D, uh, uh, okay, so C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay, here we go, so this is the original. Now let's put it as it, as the paranoid one. So that's going to be switching uh, A with D. It's going to be switching E with G. And that ought to do it, I think. There we go! What was that noise? Woo! Phew! Those bats really didn't like this tune. Okay. Wow. Imaginary rucksacks are even more spacious than regular ones. Definitely just gonna save there. Because I just... That was... Not super easy, actually. It's just a lot of stuff to sort of keep in your head, I guess, you know? Or, alternatively, maybe I just wasn't very... wasn't thinking about it right, you know? I don't need to make a loud noise right now. I'll just wipe some of the back droppings off first. Good idea. Wait. Who are you? Was it you who murdered him? The one who started all this? Why can't I see your face? It's all connected. The flashbacks, the nightmares, the strange men contacting me via email, which, in retrospect, I should probably have just <laughs> ignored. I feel like I'm missing one final piece of the puzzle. I need to find that security videotape. Chapter 5, Accept Your Fate. This looks like the last chapter. Having satisfied your psyche's need for joy, companionship, nourishment and security, you are now equipped with everything you need to complete your journey. Go and face your demons head on. Why do I feel like this is going to end badly? Another email. I'd better check it out. It, it feels nice when I get in and out of bed. Let's just save quickly. Cause it sounds like things are gonna get pretty uh pretty wild pretty soon. It's from H again. Speak to Curly. Well that's going to be tricky. Wasn't he the deaf caretaker who reported the murder? He wasn't in the pub last time I went in. I bet the pub landlord knows where to find him, though. Alright, sounds good to me. Not while I'm in my pyjamas. That 
boss isn't getting uh, talk to where's curly he's gone can't stand modern music any idea where he'll be probably at the school but the school's closed today he likes to get stuff done while the kids aren't there to tease him i don't blame him okay i'll check it out thanks don't go teasing him he's a nice bloke and he's been through a lot i'll add the school to my map now you do that crazy girl bye bye then yeah i actually i do i get that i i respect that um it's locked fostering mediocrity since 1980 <laughs> He's cleaning the window. I can hear you, you know. Wait a minute, I thought you were deaf. <laughs> yeah, everybody does. You'd be amazed what people say when they think you can't hear them. So how come you're talking to me now? It seems we have a lot to talk about. What are you doing here? Your wazak of a twin brother has been applying his myriad talents on the school building. Hey, come on. How do you even know it was Lloyd who did it? <sighs> oh. I don't really blame him, given the things he witnessed. What do you mean? I figured your parents wouldn't have told you. Hey, that's their decision. I'm not about to tell people how to bring up their kids. So, what was it that Lloyd witnessed? Not just Lloyd. You were there too. What? Where? Does this have anything to do with that theme park? That was a bad business. Cost me my job. Cost a man his life. And cost his twin their sanity. I can empathize there. Guilty or not, Horatio must be slightly unhinged. Horatio? Horatio wasn't Fergus' twin. No, it was his sister. Oh, I thought... Annabel Fig, her name was. I used to have a bit of a thing for her when I was younger. That was before she went nuts and ran away from home. What can you tell me about Annabelle? What can you tell me about Annabelle? Well, in a nutshell, with a capital nut, she was Fergus' twin sister. Horatio was a few years older. He acted like he was lord of the manor after the parents died. When she was about 17, Annabelle had a big argument with Horatio and ended up running away from home. No one ever saw her again. Which is probably just as well. If she had ever wanted revenge, it would have been all too easy. She was a crack shot, and her skill with a machete made Conan the Barbarian look like a spork-wielding toddler. She sounds a bit like my mum. Why do I get the feeling she is your mum? What exactly happened at the theme park? That's what's weird. That night, I saw someone with Fergus who was the absolute spit of Annabelle. I'm sure it was her. Maybe she came back to see him after his photo was in the paper. He gave her the grand tour like they were best friends. Showed her the ceremonial ribbon, practiced his speech, even let her kids go on a couple of rides. Kids? Yeah, two of them. Only toddlers, mind you. Anyway, I had to go and get me plunger to sort out a particularly hefty blockage in the gents. I really miss that plunger. The kind of suction you could really... Anyway, I heard a scream. When I got there, Fergus is lying on the floor, dressed as a giant polecat. There's blood all over the place and his head is... Well, not on his neck. Then I hear a noise by the gate, and I see Horatio running away from the park. So I get the hell out of there, leaving my plunger behind. When anything like this goes down, everyone always blames the caretaker. It's an occupational hazard. I wasn't about to stick around and wait to be arrested. I gave the police an anonymous tip-off once I got far enough away. I found evidence that sheds doubt on Horatio's guilt. Oh, well, I never actually saw him murder his brother. But if he didn't do it, who did? That's what worries me. 
Apparently, there was a security camera hidden inside Fergus's ferret costume. If I can find the tape, I can finally discover the truth. What happened to Annabelle after the murder? She'd scurped by the time I got there. Only, get this, a few weeks later, I went back to the park to get me plunger back. It was a genuine double-ended luxury pump and squelch. They don't even make them anymore. Best plunger I ever owned. But anyway... Right, so I turn up and I've already started building houses. Right on top of the theme park. There's some guy with a heart hat on looking at plans. And guess who's with him? Ed the Duck. Annabelle. That land was all owned by the Fick family. My guess is she inherited it, along with a tidy sum when her twin brother died. She changed her name, and she's lived there ever since. That's where your house is now. Yeah, I gathered. Her kids are grown up too. I suppose so. They say twins run in the family. What are you getting at? One boy, one girl she had. Oh no. They'd be your age now. I can see where this is going. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Just spit it out, will you? Can you get me plunger back? What? They didn't even level the park before they started building. So my pump and squelch is still underneath your house somewhere. I've waited over a decade to get it back. Seriously? You've basically just revealed I'm the niece of a murdered aristocrat and witnessed a life-changing horror committed by my own family. Admittedly, that bit's not a huge surprise to me, but it definitely warranted a little more sensitivity, don't you think? It was a really good plunger. <laughs> Listen, I will say I'm not like a huge fan of basically associating all this with mental health. You know, calling, you know, calling the whole family like nuts and crazy and all that stuff. Like, I'm not a huge fan of that. But I'll admit that's a good twist. And, and, and that this is a good game, even if I don't love that part. This is a very good game. How am I supposed to get underneath my house? My mate worked on the construction site. Apparently, your house has an access point which leads underground. Really? I've never seen anything. Maybe if you found the original blueprints for the building. Where would I find something like that? They're all on public record. You could ask at the library. There should be ledgers for all planning applications in the local area going back years. Find the right ledger, and you'll find the blueprints. Okay, I'll start there and see what I can find out. Why should I get your plunger back? No one's saying you should, but based on what you told me, you'd be needing my help very soon. And don't tell me you're not a tiny bit curious about what's buried under your house. Yeah, all right. I'll be going now. You do that. To the library! to be tons of planning application ledgers though. I need to find out which volume my house is in. I'm looking for the ledger of local planning applications. Oh really? How long ago do you need to go back? About 10 years. Oh, in that case you'll be wanting volume 42. Just use the machine in the back. You know what to do. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. from 10 years ago. Right, let's have a look. Ah, 
Here they are, the original blueprints of our house. Yoink. Alright, let's head back home and take a look. It's the blueprints of our house. There's a huge void underneath our whole house. The front door leads into the hallway. I don't recognize this room. It must have been bricked up. This is my parents' bedroom. Our kitchen and the hallway behind it. That must be Lloyd's bedroom. This is our landing. It's the roof. I don't rec... I think it's still out of action after last week's incident. The question is, how do I get in to the, you know... It's the blue... Looks like there's some... It's our garage. Our kitchen and the hallway behind it. Our kitchen and the hallway behind it. Our kit. Okay. Our kitchen and the hallway behind it. So, presumably that's this hallway, right? I've never really thought about it before, but this wall obviously has a void behind there we go. it. Otherwise, my parents' bedroom would just be floating. I'll just take a closer look. Mm, no. Nothing there. Just here, some of the papers peeling away. There's a security keypad under the wallpaper. Looks like it's not been touched for years. Although my dad can't even work the TV remote, so that's no great surprise. It's asking for a password. I'm guessing it's one my parents came up with. Never guess password lock. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, it looks just like our old cat. I dreamt about him recently. I don't want to... This is where all... I don't want to face that nightmare again. Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. There we go. I don't want to... No, but I need... It's my dream box. With no... Oh. And a toy bear. Picking it up would most... The phantom organ. Enter the... This should... There we go. Uh... In your pop. There we go. I'll just dip my pyjamas on. There's something written on the back of the plate. Percy. Oh yeah, that was the name of my mum's favourite cat. He was a vicious little creature. to believe his body was on the other side of that wall. I think I'm probably carrying enough stuff already. Fair enough. Call me strange, but I just don't want to go in there in my pyjamas. That's fair. Okay, in we go. Just... I mean... I knew my mother enjoyed displaying dead animals, but even I didn't see this one coming. I'm not leaving here till I get some answers. Let's save. 
you know, even if it takes a little bit longer, I figure let's just try and finish this game today, because we're clearly coming in on the end, and I won't be able to stream next week, so... They're all about the Fig Brothers case. Something tells me they're not full of pirate flags. They smell like chloroform. It looks knackered. They're all about... The boxes all look a bit damp. Ankle Biter Deluxe. My mum's accumulated quite a collection. I suppose they never install proper lighting in here. If it ends inside, there's a can of it in this house. I'm not sure it's ever been used for carpentry. Okay. No thanks. The box is all. I don't have a use. They're all about the fig. I don't have time to read them right now. Moles, flies. These things are amazingly versatile. I don't need to catch any mice. Squeak no more. Squeak no more. Oh, that's that's rough. Uh I suppose They're like those massive novelty scissors you get for cutting ribbons. My mum never allows scissors in the house. What a hypocrite. It's a photo of Fig Hall. Weird to think that's where my mum grew up. They chronicle the whole case against Horatio. Despite the doubt, it could still have been him that killed Fergus. I mean, what's the alternative? They chronicle the whole... Despite... I mean... It's Fergus. His glasses are just like mine. Horatio and Fergus duelling again. I guess violence and sadism run in the family. That doesn't bode well for me. They chronicle the Hulk. Despite... I mean... They chronicle... Despite... I mean... They chronicle... Despite... I mean... You never know when you might need a length of rope. I don't need a length of rope. Fair enough, I guess. It's made of genuine... Uh... Animal? There are some lumps underneath it. And I don't think they're dead wood lice. At least not all of them at any rate. It's nailed down. Let's get some of those pesky nails out. That should do it. What's underneath this thing? Oh, don't you open that trap door. You're a fool if you dare. Actually, I can't open it because it's got a mahoosive padlock on it. This thing is heavy duty. It's padlock shut. Last will and testament of Fergus Fig. It was amended just a few days before his murder. I can see Horatio's name crossed out and replaced with Annabelle. It looks like she inherited his entire share of the Fig estate when he died. Those emails are sent from H, so that's probably Horatio. I suppose. I can read it from here. Last will and it was amended. I can see and reply. It looks well. Here it is, right underneath my parents' bedroom. Please, can anyone who doesn't think that's weird leave now? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I suppose I should at least take a look at it. Well, thankfully, there's no disembodied head in there. Good. But what's this? It feels like a brick. Oh, wow. It's a giant cassette. This must be the security tape Horatio mentioned in the police interview. But just look at this thing. How am I going to find a machine old enough to even play it? I'll just take a closer look. Alpha Max 60. I feel like I've seen this logo before somewhere. It was probably in one of our ancient history textbooks. <laughs> Hang on, that's it. This is the same make as the video machine at school. It has no more secrets to share. At least, not any that I want to hear. Oi. I guess that's probably the murder weapon. And I guess she doesn't allow scissors in the house. I don't think I've dis... 
maybe because oh, if we're ha if we're still here. Stand back, uh, me. Great, that just broke the hammer. <laughs> okay. I've had enough of picking up useless stuff. I've already tried that once. Uh. Should we just like? Oh, hang on. It's not actually locked. <laughs> what a muppet. Okay. Why not? When other kids dream of having a theme park in their house, I don't think this is what they're imagining. They've survived pretty well down here. I suppose this is where it happened. Disneyland grand opening. Presumably not the resounding success they were hoping for. This one's detached from the ground. This'll be useful if I meet any rodents of unusual size. The drop. A terrifying plunge you'll remember for the rest of your life. It's full of duck toys. It's full of... If I'd known he was right underneath my house, it would have saved a lot of faffing about with metal detectors. It was fun though, right? Right? This must be where Mr. Fumble originally came from. I should tell Lloyd about this local supply of fresh victims. It's our house's bottom. I can't actually see anything up there. It's mainly for context. Fair enough, I guess. Inside looks like a converted treadmill with a giant polystyrene dinosaur head behind it. I imagine it'd be terrifying for small children. Escape the beast. He's hungry for you. Free dive experience. You'll never get over that sinking feeling. I can't even see the bottom. Although the raw sewage runoff and algae isn't helping with the visibility. Buried alive. Deep underground, no one can hear you scream. It looks like a lift crossed with a coffin. Crossed with a hundred health and safety violations. I think it makes the lift go up and down. It says engaged. It's the gentleman's lavatory. Seems like a good place to find a plunger, but I can't reach it. I see... That's about all I can do. The door hinges are rusted shut. I don't need to go. It's the gentleman's lavatory. Oh shoot, I was hoping to get that line I accidentally skipped past. I might be able to leave the door with this. Now there's nothing to stop me thoroughly investigating an abandoned underground lavatory. On second thoughts, maybe hooray wasn't what I meant at all. <laughs> it's a double-ended luxury pump and squelch. There's something stuck inside. Looks like a double-ended luxury pump and squelch to me. Nice. I think I've discovered all I can in here now. It looks... I don't want to interfere with the rides. Fair enough. Boy, all right. Uh, let's go back to the school and I have something for you. Pumpy, is it really you? It's yours. All you need to do is let me into the school to use the video machine. Is that all? Come with me. All right. I'll let you in, but then you're on your own. I'm not hanging around. Come on, Betty, we're getting out of here. I hope you find what you're looking for on that tape. 
No going back now. Right, where's that video machine? I can see into the geography classroom. Looks like the school television's been wheeled in. They ordered more of these after Lloyd's first term. Mandalorian. Bendy straw. I'm a pillock. Have a banana. I own a pit. Mandalorian. Thin girlicking. Mike R won't start. Axolotl. I've a nasty rash. Arnie's locker's right next to mine. He's so like when Mr. Tweed starts talking. Arnie's locker's right next to mine. It's full of comics, his handheld video game console, and extra batteries for double periods. That's my locker, right on the end. That leads to the science lab, but it's locked. It's full of awards given to other people and their ancestors. Please store all sharp metal objects, batteries and corrosive chemicals in lockers during school hours. Never tell anyone your locker combination. Please don't waste sticky notes. Low cost pet improvements and chimeras. Call Lloyd. Please remember that it is not polite to bring attention to our custodian's overdeveloped epidermis. Any inflammatory comments will be dealt with harshly. This includes any references to walruses, armadillos or pangolins. Poor guy. Remote controls are not toys. Do not interfere with the school television during lessons. The remote control will be kept safely out of reach. Shorter members of staff can request it from Mr. Tweed. Join the Oxbow Lake Club. Plenty of space is still available. Speak to Mr. Tweed. Don't worry if you didn't win a goose walloping badge at the village fete. You could always have another go next time. It's full of bleach and mops. All right, let's head into the. I can see. Looks like the. This thing is older than the school itself. Looks like it's plugs one pixel too far from the socket. That's annoying. Mr. Tweed really loves Oxbow Lakes. Water goes up, water goes down. Water goes up, water goes down. Hmm. Marker pens, chalk, an unopened roll of breath mints, and a small screwdriver. I think the screwdriver in here is the only thing worth taking. Makes a difference from cold tea. Here be dragons. Molded plastic chairs. Mr. Tweed screwed them all to the floor because we kept tilting back on them. Question one. What kind of lake can be formed through erosion and deposition of a meandering river system? Hmm, I wonder. It belongs to our geography teacher, Mr. Tweed. Wait, so do you call him Mr. Tweed or is his name Mr. Tweed? They're full of Oxbow Lake worksheets. They're full of... I don't need any geography exam papers. Looks like Mr. Tweed put it out of reach. Probably sick of us changing the channel during lessons. Yeah, that probably makes some sense. One of its wheels is busted. They look like round plastic balls. The cable won't reach. It's one pixel too short. I can't move it. One of its wheels is broken. I knew I was carrying this around for some reason. I'll kind of miss it. There we go. The trolley should move now. All right. I've managed to fit. OK, let's move this into position. <laughs> Phew, that should be close enough now. <laughs> Ancient relic of a bygone era. Mop wood panelling has aged well. I just need to plug it in. It should reach the socket now. It 
It's a nice flat bit of floor. Should be useful, perhaps, but here we go. Right, it's going in. Now I just need to turn on the TV. The buttons are jammed. It needs a remote control. Oh, cripes. Um... It's all plugged in and ready to go. It's already in position. Looks like I'm probably sick of it. I'm not tall enough to reach it. It's full of blood. It's locked. And I don't... That leads to the... That leads to the... It's full of... Oh, I have an idea. It's too thin to make any di That doesn't need to be... I wonder if this will help me reach if I stand on it. Okay, I'll add one more. Looks like Mr. Tweed probably sick. There we go. I still can't reach it. Nope. Okay. Um. It's too thin to make any difference. Here are the two. Uh oh, psychology book. Chapter five. Nope. Look, they're all about ox. Oh, what what about these? I don't need any. No. I don't want to. Uh... Oh, uh, we could go get the dictionary. I don't want to. Wait, no. I don't want to leave yet. I've not watched the videotape. But 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 we need another. I'm already wet. Let's check out my badges. I'm not getting. I still can't. Wait, what if? Can this I help? I don't want to unscrew that. No. Okay. They're all about Oxbow Lakes too. But but. Oh. This screwdriver is way too small for furniture. Oh. Molded plastic. Mr. Tweed screwed them all to the. They screwed. They screwdriver. That's my. Lo Arnie's lockers. It's full of an extra. I can't unscrew the locker door. I can't. It's locked and I don't know the combination. Ah! There we go. If it's a book, I'm having it. Apparently. That's better. Oxbow Lakes. A meandering adventure. <clears throat> I can't wait to apply this knowledge in adulthood. Okay, I'll add one more. Looks like Mr. Tweed put probably. Okay. Got it. Yes! It doesn't work. The batteries are dead. It's the remote control for the school TV. The battery cover's screwed shut. Those batteries look pretty dead to me. I'm not sure that would help. Those batteries... Hmm... I don't want to... Okay, but then we need to get into Arnie's locker. Arnie's locker's... It's full of... An extra battery. I 
I can't. I can't. It's locked and it doesn't work. I can't unscrew. I have a nasty rash. I can't. It's. I can't. I can't. It's full of. I'll celebrate other people's victories another day. I'll celebrate. It's full of. It's a tiny screwdriver. Oh! This card is for library systems only. Oh, I thought we might be able to do the, like, the... The thing where you, like, insert it into a thing and then... Promoting a crabbing holiday there probably wouldn't achieve a lot. I'll save him for my dream box. Chapter 5. This looks... Having satisfied your go fit I ordered more of these. What else is there out here? I mean it's and if I can't leave, I need to get into Arnie's locker, clearly. But how do I do that? Ah, that's how. All right, let's see what Arnie's got in his locker. Arnie always keeps spare. But he wouldn't want to accidentally listen to anything Mr. Tweed was saying. <laughs> I'm sure Arnie won't mind if I borrow a couple. It's for a good cause. There we go. Good as new. I should screw the cover back on before using it. Come on, safety first. All right, all right, all right. It's the bat. It's all fixed up and ready to use. Without further ado. Hey, Bella. What do you think of my new look? Bella? Where'd she go? Probably chasing after Lloyd. He's a chip off the old block. I do hope Horatio can make it tonight. Those two really need to patch things up after so long. Oh, hey, Lucy. Careful with those scissors now. It's slippy. Lucy, you shouldn't run with... What? What, what just happened? That looked like... It was me. I killed Fergus. I feel... I feel... She appears to be suffering a degree of memory loss after the trauma to her head. Where am I? D -d Don't worry, Lucy. Y you're safe. We, we got a call saying you were at the school. Y your mother came and found you. C -c Could we have a moment, Doctor? Of course. I'll just be out here if you need me. You know, Lucy... Your mother's always been the one looking out for you, ever since. Well, you know, she won't let anything bad happen, do you? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, n n never mind that now. Listen, you try to get a good n n night's sleep, you hear? We'll be back tomorrow to check on you. N n night, night. 
It's a hell of a twist. Fugitive Horatio Fig has been found dead after a decade of being on the run for the murder of his brother Fergus. His body was discovered on the outskirts of his hometown of Figgington. He appears to have slipped whilst running with an extra large pair of scissors. So the local police are treating his death as accidental. Finally, it seems the Fig family will be able to rest in peace. Poor guy. I wonder if he did it. I don't remember anything from the past few days. I'm just looking forward to getting some sleep. Wait, what? What the hell? What the hell? What kind of ending was that? What? Well, I guess, you know... It's probably at least a little good that a ten-year-old doesn't have to live with knowing she accidentally killed her uncle. Definitely makes sense why there were no scissors in the house. Give me a hot bag, you little fiends. Yeah, and that... There's nothing else. That's it. That's... That's it. That's the end of the game. Hell of a last stream for, <laughs> for a week. Uh... Well, how about that? I'm a little shaken up by that ending. That was just quite shocking. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, this was such a, like, a fun, goofy game, and then all of a sudden, just like... Lucy, like, I mean, I get it handled a murder, but it was like, it was a fun, goofy game, and then all of a sudden, this ten-year-old is the one who murdered... Like, what? 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 Okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> wow. And then she just knocked her head, got a concussion, and now she doesn't remember any of the stuff we did. Any of it. Her trauma isn't resolved. Nothing's resolved, really. I mean, it's resolved for us. We know what happened. But she's gotten... The hell? Sorry, I just like the hell. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta sit on this one. 
I gotta sit on this one. Well, thank you to everyone who was and wasn't here today. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'll be gone over the next week. And, uh, so I'll choose some games for when we come back. I'll choose a new point and click game. And a new game for Tuesdays. Um, yeah, I, I, I get. I don't. I. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will see you all in a week. And thank you so much for everyone who wasn't wasn't here. Have a, have a wonderful day. Bye.